Northern California is my home. I've been living here since I chose to live here when I was born in 2002. Um, and Northern California is an extremely unique place because it's the convergence of a lot of different civilizations, sort of like Russia and Turkey in the way those birthed Europe and Asia. Um, and essentially, Northern California was formed way back in the day when the natives came over 10,000 years ago across the Bering Strait. Uh, if we want to look at the formation of Northern California as it is today, uh, we have to look back to the 1700s when essentially Spain was resting on its laurels of a massive um, Western Hemisphere empire, but they felt a little bit threatened that Russia and, and England were beginning operations in the California area. So reluctant, they had the Catholic Church set up the mission system going up the California coast. This is the original form of the California identity. But essentially, this form of infrastructure between the missions and the very small settlements was the California identity around that. But essentially, a new thing happened, which is the inland sea being developing, which is during the Gold Rush, lots of people came from all over the world. They came from Chile, they came from China, they came from Northern Italy, and they formed the basis of the Inland Sea, which is going up to Sacramento, going down to San Jose, going up to Vallejo, the Carquinez Strait, boats going all around. And this, in some way, to Greece or Japan was another um, transportation infrastructure formation in NorCal around this. Then people started going out to the gold fields. So now you have three main forms of settlement. And this is where NorCal starts to diverge into different. Mainly the descendants of uh, farmers that moved over uh, to the canneries to follow the, uh, the, the sea lanes going out uh, with all the food. Um, Mexicans from the Bracero program, World War II, and lots of African Americans that were brought from Louisiana and Texas, um, brought into Kaiser Sugars, uh, forms, um, I might say, I like to call uh, the Bay Area like industrial um, or ethnic mentality. And this uh, is very formative because it's created um, the hyphy movement, which um, has influenced the way like tons of California and like the world operates. If you know about the white tea, if you know about Mac Dre, if you know about the uh, the the fitted new era caps, that's all from this mentality. And essentially, uh, these people feel very like disrespected by a lot of people, which is kind of like the CIA put a lot of crack in the neighborhoods when they formed the Black Panthers in the 60s to re resist police brutality. So essentially, like these people rightfully so like feel a little bit like tread on by some people. Uh, and so the, all that um, energy kind of manifested in the hype movement. Uh, and yeah, basically they just think like, the, the people that they get along with maybe the least would be like the, the fentanyl, just the people that just come to California and want to do fentanyl because they cause all these problems for them. Because they're mainly in service jobs, like a mini operator. You better smoke on my fucking train. No, you're baby. totally right. I'll smoke in the second car. Yeah, it's always best. Yeah, it's always best to go to the second car. Basically, one of the uh, areas that I'm mainly from, I'm from Chico, which basically sits between the valley and the Jefferson Valley. Jefferson is, um, it's they feel a little bit mad at the rest of California for taking their water. Also, they haven't had any real industries prop up since the 1800s when logging, um, flumes, hydraulic mining, since it went away. And essentially, this area is kind of like Idaho. They're very into fishing, hunting. Jesus Christ. As well and this is just kind of like there's a lot of native americans here but there's also quite a few white people who don't really like not white people sadly it's i mean this is kind of like unfortunately a governing cultural um trend in, in some some parts of this area the mentality i like to call the old bay money mentality and essentially this came out of uh descendants of french northern italian uh, and other european peoples um that settled in the bay and essentially this group is very rich and has a lot of reservations against everyone else and they um, hate cars. They only ride their trolley buses and streetcars, and they think they're very European. But there's also, I'm gonna say, there's and a they only in like places like Los Angeles. And basically, like this is kind of like a tongue cheek thing. I'm saying, but basically, this is just a very North, North America. The only people like, they empathize with is like, like everywhere, camp in every park. Like, is not part of a historical community with with a you know. Um, historic issues with housing, which is a thing, but just like some stupid people from out of state who want to do hella drugs in the parks. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to <clears throat> explain about the two uh, coast mindsets, and they're distinct. One's the north, one is the central. Uh, the central one is basically the undisturbed remnant, because the SF1 became part of the Bay mentality, of the of the, uh, the mission chain that I explained earlier. Uh, and this is very into surfing. Uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like SoCal almost, but they're, you know, they're a little, they're, they're a little aggressive, I would have to say. They don't like uh, big city people just kind of uh, small town people but you know they um they're really into skateboarding they're interesting um and the north coast um is, is mainly kind of like uh, it's like a lot like maine is what people compare it to um it's um they do a lot of fishing they always refer to tuna as albacore tuna which no one else in california would know to say that um the, the, uh, the silicon valley or new bay money mentality which is essentially um kind of a controversial group um because they have uh the, the old bay money has kind of kept to its historic um areas which is um of, of san francisco for example which is uh, the epicenter of a giant housing crisis um, because it's it's you know it's a really beautiful city so essentially the new bay money or silicon valley that really into this type of architecture i'm not an expert but you know it's very boxy minimalist personally i think very pleasant it's usually very cleanly kept um and then this type of a uh, very clean landscaping with like some a lot of succulents and ferns i'm not you know a, a botanist but that's pretty interesting pretty clean um, aesthetics 
um, but very controversial uh, in Norcal, which has you know like a really proud tradition of the, uh, the Queen Anne Victorian houses. Uh, th these are seen as kind of a, a retraction from this, you know that that uh, kind of aspect of our culture. Um, and then so the Valley people. People in the valley are basically seen as like people from Oklahoma, because uh, if you're not from California, you probably won't know. But like during the Dust Bowl, we basically had a similar situation to the Romani, where we had a very discriminated group of uh, people, like mixed white and uh, and Amerindian descent, which of course is not the Romani, but they came out from Oklahoma during the Dust Bowl and uh, moved from town to town in camps, um, working migrant farm jobs. So this area has always always been kind of seen as like all oh, those those busters, those uh, farmers. Um, and had us a little bit of an accent, so. This, the valley um, is also, gets along with Jefferson, like people do, but Jefferson kind of sees the valley as like similar to its culture, but a little bit too um, um, Hispanophilic, um, sadly. 